The first case of COVID-19 was discovered in Idaho three years ago today. It changed the world as we knew it at the time. Since then, we have learned to live in a new normal. Eyewitness News 3's Kaylee Gallivee shows us how COVID-19 still affects many of us today. We've become less afraid of the virus. We've um, moved forward and, and found that we can you know, reopen society and function normally, uh, accepting the risks of a virus that has mutated to accommodate um, and become less severe. After three years since the coronavirus shut down the state, local medical experts say the pandemic has taught them a lot. COVID is still very much with us. Well, we're certainly seeing less cases than we were, of course, during the epidemic. But in terms of acute COVID, we are still seeing cases and we're still seeing patients die of, of COVID. Idaho Health and Welfare is reporting over 1,200 new COVID-19 cases statewide just last week. Although that's significantly less than the peak of the pandemic, that number has increased compared to last month's reports, and about 50% of eastern Idaho has been fully vaccinated. The, the COVID vaccines have been remarkably safe and effective in preventing severe disease and death. As people gain immunity and the virus mutates towards a version of itself that is, causes fewer fatalities, that's the natural progression of the disease coupled with immunity and also vaccinations in the population. Overall, everyone has become more aware of the virus. Right now we have, you know, a vaccine that's proven to be effective. We have medical countermeasures, including antivirals, but also we know which treatments work and which treatments don't. You know, early on in the pandemic, um, the medical community really struggled to find which treatments were effective in patients with COVID-19. Because of the pandemic, we are all using better practices. People are more likely to wash their hands or use hand sanitizer. They're more likely to call in sick if they are sick, uh, just as a result of um, going through a pandemic. But something else health experts are realizing is people suffering with post-COVID syndrome. It creates long-lasting effects to brain function, energy levels, and breathing. Many of them are are significantly debilitated by their post-COVID symptoms. And it's a huge problem nationwide and locally in our area since we saw so many patients with COVID and as a state did not do very well in the number of cases that uh, are still out there, um, patients are still suffering. Although limited, there is help for patients suffering with post-COVID syndrome. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Kaylee Galavis. If you'd like some more information on how to seek help with post-COVID syndrome, visit our website. Look for this story at news3now.com.